Libo Italia, io sono baracchianti, non è un medico di base, non è un settore sanitario, io non è invisibile. Hello guys, welcome back to another video wherever you are special greetings to you and don't forget if today is your first time please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel also don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever you drop video you can also get it and watch and don't forget this channel is all about education entertainment and document today we are here with this episode where we are going to tell you the message that Abu Bakar Sumoro has sent to the Prime Minister of Italy who is Giuseppe Conte we are going to look at whatever this our brother send to this prime minister you understand because this abu bakari sumoro is the high time man who is helping immigrants who don't have voices for the all the nation or all the country to know their cry or to know the problem that people are facing so this man is demanding on the 12th of november immigrants are going to strike because people that are working or laborers in the agriculture sector people are not respecting them and then even places for them to sleep is problem for them people don't have i mean they don't have health care proper good health care they don't have places to sleep you don't even understand but at the end of the day people enjoy what they work for and then they will suffer they don't get the access to what it will make them happy or what will even be their health problems to i mean to get proper uh, health care to get proper place to sleep and then even sometimes proper drinking water you can imagine someone who is in abroad even lights they don't have light proper lights i mean it's it's very crazy you don't even understand so this buba carlos moro came out with uh, these people our our brother immigrants who are laborers that on the 12th of uh, november they are going to do a big uh, strike because People are not respecting them. People are not respecting them. So let me just read what uh, Abu Bakari Sumoro read. read uh, so let me just read what Abu Bakari Sumoro just wrote and then we will watch the video so that uh, you know how they are going to do, I mean, this strike and then when they are even going to do it. He said, sure, pero, that means strike. You understand? The English version is there. I also read the English version before we go and watch the video. He said, sure, pero, eh, President Giuseppe Conte, noi braccianti potremmo sotto i vostri palazzi, potremmo sotto i vostri palazzi a Roma il prossimo 12 novembre gli, sta, gli stivali imbrattati di fango della miseria le nostre braccia sfruttate sono da voi considerate essenziali poche sono funzionali alla filiere agroalimentare e arricchire la, la GDO, that is grande distribuzione organizzata, siamo degli esseri umani e le nostre vite devono ugualmente contare, you understand? We, our life needs to be count, you understand? We are human beings and then sometimes you don't even understand. Look at during the pandemic time, these immigrants were still working because, you know, if the agriculture sector, if people are not working because these tomatoes, I mean, these apples, eh, if these strawberries, if they are ready and then you don't harvest them, they are going to spoil. They can be lying on the ground, you understand? But these people try to do that, but still people are not respected. Let me read the English version for you. He says, strike. He says, president, we, we laborers will bring under your burdens to Rome. On November 12th, boots painted with mud of misery. <laughs> Our exploded arms are considered essential because they are function they are functional at the agri at the agri at the agri food chain and Eric the GDO grid organized distribution. We are human. We are human beings and our lives must still count. You understand? So this is what Abu Bakar Sumoro wrote. And then we are going to watch the video now. Uh, when we are back, we will give you the rest of the update. So guys, stay tuned. Signor Presidente Giuseppe Conte, ci rivolgiamo a lei in quanto capo del governo. Lei sostiene che l'Italia nei momenti difficili 
riesce a dimostrare coesione e forza. Anche noi riteniamo che vi sia la necessità di una maggiore coesione e forza. Però dall'inizio della pandemia ad oggi noi siamo stati dimenticati, siamo stati trasformati in invisibili, siamo stati ridotti in scarti della società. La filiera agroalimentare è indicata a settore essenziale, ma le nostre vite non risultano essenziali dal punto di vista del diritto alla salute. Una condizione abitativa dignitosa, una condizione lavorativa dignitosa. Noi insieme ai contadini e agli agricoltori abbiamo sacrificato le nostre energie garantendo il cibo a questo paese e soprattutto in questo momento di pandemia non abbiamo mai smesso il nostro grido come il grido dell'insieme degli invisibili è stato accolto dalla miopia politica e dall'arroganza del potere la nostra vita conta per questo motivo abbiamo deciso di scioperare il prossimo 12 novembre portando i nostri stivali portando la miseria dei nostri del fango sotto il palazzo del governo sciopero 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 vi invitiamo tutti ad unirvi a noi ci vediamo a Roma il 12 novembre sciopero Yeah guys, I hope you have seen the video of Bubakari Sumoro. Bubakari Sumoro is doing a lot of, uh, I mean, amazing job for immigrants. And then before even leaving you guys, let's watch the video of this uh, Libra. When we are back, we will give you the rest of the update. <laughs> ma l'assistenza eh, sanitaria non è più nessuno a noi eh, stiamo lavorando ogni giorno, ogni stagione noi siamo invisibili anche in pandemia non siamo visibili sempre noi siamo invisibili eh, senza capa d'identità, senza il medico del barrio guys i hope you have seen the video i play one in the beginning the libra video and then i play one at the finale that is the end of the video um i think uh, if bubakari sumoro is supporting we immigrants needs to also support you understand because that's what he said last in his last video he said um he said we need if we see abu bakari sumoro is there it's not going to solve the problem but we need to help him you understand we need to help him by supporting him you understand whatever he's doing that is where he can i mean continue to fight because if he is not if he is not if he cannot be there without us you understand because he cannot be bubakari sumoro without immigrant you understand but sometimes we need to also try to support him so that whatever he is doing not in in support of a, a economic way but just just try if you have problem whatever you are staying if you have a problem just let them know that we are facing this kind of problem because if you have your problem and you didn't share it to anybody i don't think they will know that you have problem you understand but sometimes if you have problem and you try to share it they will know that you are having this problem you understand so immigrant lives count as bubakaris moro said bubakaris moro said immigrant life counts so you can let me know in the comment section below immigrant life count or hashtag immigrant life count so guys this is all i have for you today so without wasting much time wherever you are special greetings to you once again and stay safe stay blessed till we meet again in the next video bye bye